Hello everyone. Today what I'm going to do is just a quick video with some revision on work that we did last semester. Looking mainly again at the layers panel and selecting an image using Refine Edge to put a layer mask on it as well as looking at layer adjustments and layer blend modes. At the moment what I've got, and you have this file on Blackboard as well, is a file that essentially has all of the elements that we looked at last semester. So we looked at different layers with layer adjustments in them. We also looked at doing an effect on a layer group. We put everything into a folder, named it and put an effect on it, so a drop shadow in this case. The first thing that I'm going to show you today in this video is Refine Edge and all the options that go back to Refine Edge. To do that what I'm going to do is use that particular layer and I'm going to collapse all of these layers into the folder and make it invisible by selecting, clicking on the eye to make that layer invisible. So I'll just do the same with the top layer so invisible, visible, we've done that before. I'm going to select this body and how I'm going to do it is to use I can either use the lasso tool or the quick selection tool. In this case I'm going to use the quick selection tool. I need to be on the actual layer before I do that. So coming up here I am on that first layer. When I rest the quick selection tool without clicking my mouse down at all, I need to make sure that the size of the tool or the pen size is quite small. The smaller the pen size of the quick selection tool, the more accurate the selection is, so it doesn't select a big area. The selection quick selection tool is still fairly broad, so even with a small, small pen tool size, it still can select quite a bit, as you can see. What I try to do, and it's just an art that you learn as you're going along, is to keep, the more experience you get, is to keep my mouse quite close to the edge of the canvas. So far away from the figure so that I don't select too much of the figure. And go quite slowly, even though it's called the quick selection tool, you don't need to speed as you go along. The reason why this is picking up the outside edge so well is because of the high contrast between the figure and the background. Coming up here very, very slowly. So do you see what happened there? Was the minute I got into an area that was quite there wasn't as much contrast, it immediately went to the next bit of contrast over there. That's not a problem. We can fix that. What we need to do first though is at the moment we've selected the outside edge because it's a fairly uniform colour and I would like it now to select the actual figure. I know that it's the outside edge because I see the running ants running along the edge there and running along the figure. If I come up to select inverse. That now has selected the figure. We only see the running ants along the edge of the figure. Over here where we have a selection that's been left out of the figure what we'll have to do is add that into this selection. I can try and do that using my quick selection and over here where it says add to selection which is selected I can just go in and try and pick up that arm and that's actually done very well. So we have this whole figure selected just have a little peruse to see that everything's in. And a 
I don't really want to have the shadow of the foot in there so what I'll do is come to my lasso tool and if I had to press shift what that would do is add extra to the area. I don't want to do that, I want to actually delete that. So Command or Control Z, if I go Alt, you see the subtraction sign next to the lasso. I can let go of Alt, you just need to select it once. And when you rest your mouse near the beginning of where you started, it will close the shape and you'll see that it'll close it because you'll see a little circle. The other thing that you can do is just hit the key enter. I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to delete this negative space from my selection. Once that's done, what I'll do is come up to Refine Edge. Refine Edge, as you remember, is only visible if we have a selection tool selected. If I were to go into my actual Move tool, we don't see it. So let's come here. Let's go to Refine Edge. And at the moment, I have got something where I've remembered my settings and what my settings were were to have my view on layer so you see the background layer showing over there you could have it on black or white but I want it on layer the other thing that I did was I moved my edge so if you see if I just take it all the way up to 100 you'll see how it puts a little line all the way around. So that's just moving the edge a little bit on around the whole edge of the body. So I'll take that down a little to about 16. And then the other thing I did was I just feathered the edge. What feathering does is it just blows the edge and smooth probably isn't, doesn't really matter in this case. What we have the option of doing here is just saying that everything is all looking good. We have a preview of it. If we're happy with that. I'm actually going to do my output to a new layer with a layer mask. I do that so that I don't destroy the original and just so that I know that I can adjust the layer mask if need be and OK. So basically what we have is our original image and we've actually got a layer mask on it. If I just disable that layer mask you'll see what happened and if I enable it it masks the image. The black is the area that's been masked out and the white is the area that shows through. That's refine edge for you. The next videos we'll go on to we'll actually look at doing all of the layer adjustments.